Good morning and welcome to the Petiti Pro Garden Show. Thank you all for getting up early and being with us. We're all recuperated from the uh, holiday weekend last week. And now actually, I still feel like I'm in that holiday week because this has been Constitution Week in Louisville. So we've had things going on every night of the week, it seems like. And actually, tomorrow we'll um, end our Constitution Week festivities with a parade tomorrow afternoon. So we would love everyone to come out at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon for the Constitution Parade. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And we would love everyone to be there to celebrate our Constitution. Oh, we have um, had a lot going on at the store and we're doing some uh, inventory reduction. We need to get rid of some stock. The drought, a lot of you didn't want to plant this summer. So now fall is here. It's a great time for planting. And um, we are going to be putting some great things on sale for you so that you can do that fall planting. Um, we do have some nice uh, four-inch Pentis flowers um, for only a dollar ninety-nine. They're going to give you a big bang of color um, for the rest of this season. Um, we have all of our apple trees on sale at twenty percent off. Um, all of our knockout roses are on sale. Um, our regular trees and shrubs are all on sale. Um, we also have raspberry bushes for five bucks. So, um, and the nice thing is they're loaded in raspberries right now. So come on out and get some of those. So if you would um, like to know where you can get all of this wonderful merchandise, it's at 5828 Columbus Road, right on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway in Nimishillen Township. You can give us a call to get directions at 330-455-5997. And we always answer questions right here on the show every week. And if you have questions that you would like us to answer, you can stop out at the store. You can give me a call at that number or you can email me your questions at Cindy Petiti, that's C-I-N-D-Y P-E-T-I-T-T-I at gmail.com and we will make sure that we get your questions answered. We also have some um, in-house things on sale, not just our trees and shrubs, but we also have fertilizer on sale. This is a great time to fertilize your trees and shrubs um, and your vegetable gardens. So we have a new line of organic fertilizer. It's called, um, it's by the Whitney Farm Company. And we have four pound bags for $2.99 and 15 pound bags for just $6.99. We also have fall cleanup supplies, um, the tarps, um, the leaf bags, all of those things things that you need for your fall cleanups on sale. And of course, we have your fall decorating items, your mums, your straw, corn stalks, all of those kind of things. Um, We have all of those kind of things as well. So um, we want to answer a couple questions. And then we have a special guest with us again this week. We have Kevin from Habitat uh, Restores. Hey. And so it's so nice to have you back with us again. So we're going to answer um, a couple questions, and then we are going to get into some of the new amazing things that's going on at the ReStore, that's going on with the Habitat build part, yeah, um, and debuilding. Yeah, deconstruction. Deconstruction. I'm excited to talk so about So we're going to talk about that, too. So um, all kinds of things going on um, with Habitat. What a wonderful organization. And so we're going to answer your questions, and we're going to get right on to that. Um, the first question that we had today was about garlic. And most of you know that you plant your garlic um, in the fall, usually right around the first part of October. You want to plant your garlic. Um, but the question was, um, when I buy that garlic bulb, do I just plant that whole thing in the ground, and then it's just going to make a lot of them? And no, that's not how it works. You buy the bulb and then you tear all the cloves off and then you plant each individual clove, which in turn will make its own bulb. So you want to plant every clove this fall. And then next July, you will be harvesting garlic bulbs. And then you should save a few of those to use as your seed again. Or, oh, no, maybe not. I sell garlic bulb seeds, so I don't want you to save them. (laughs) So you can buy more next year from me and plant them again. But you can plant. Most garlic is heirloom. um, So you can save your garlic bulbs, a few of them, and replant them. Unless you plant lots and lots and sell it, and then you 
you don't do that. Um, but we do have that available um, at the store right now so that you can get your garlic planted. Also, I will be at the Canton Farmers Market today. As soon as the show is over, I'll be down there answering questions, um, having some great um, items down there to show all of you. Um, and we are going to um, have a special little treat down there. Um, so if you would love your children to be able to see some beautiful, adorable, adoptable kittens. Meet me down there in a little bit, and we're going to have some cute little kittens down there. So hopefully um, we see all of you, and don't forget to bring your questions. So we are going um, to be talking to Kevin about what's going on at the Restore. And of course, everyone that's in the construction industry, we're wrapping things up. We want to make sure that everything is under roof so that we can at least, you know, still work inside out of the elements um and save our construction so what's going on let's there let's go there first sure well on the habitat for humanity ministry side we're doing the same thing so we're building houses all the time we're trying to get all these properties under roof by Mm -hmm. the time the first snow falls so yeah our construction team all the volunteers we have about five thousand volunteers who pass through our ministry every year we're all working really hard just like all the the businessmen and women out there who are in the same industry uh to get those houses ready to go for winter so that we can uh you know get as many families as possible into their new decent, affordable homes by Christmas, by the holiday oh, season, right. exactly. you know, but um, but also those houses that aren't going to be to that point, we can just get them to the point where we can continue working right. on the inside. And in the wintertime, then you yeah. can do that indoor stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right. Perfect. Drywall and all of the flooring <laughs> exactly. and all of those kind of things. Yeah. So also, the uh, restores have some special things going on this weekend. We have special stuff going on all the time. And exactly. you can't see me right now if you're listening, but my hands just went in the air because it's exciting stuff. There's and all they kinds did. of stuff. They did. <laughs> There's always something going on. So right now, uh, today, we've got a 30% off sale at Restore. That's both locations here in Kansas. That's store-wide, so you're going to save 30% on everything. Um, And also, that's in addition to just prices being low all the time. Being low anyhow, right, exactly. Uh, So what's the hours today? Uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. today. So you and, all have time yep. after the show, jump in the shower, get yourself ready, <laughs> and you can be there by 10 o'clock. Get down there and get the good stuff that's before right, it's gone. before it's picked over. Uh, so both locations, that's on Cleveland Avenue Northwest and on Raff Road Southwest. Both of them have the sale today, and oh, that's a pretty good thing. At the wonderful. same time, we've been working really hard. Our restore team and volunteers have been working really hard to make the store more organized. We've got new signage that will help you get to exactly what you want to get to when you get into the store. You can find where those building supplies are. You can find where the plumbing items are, the hardware, the knickknacks. Uh, you're going to be able to locate it easier. We're organizing the stores better so you can see all the great items that have been donated by the public, by people right. just like listeners here. And if we do have donations, does it matter which store we go to? It doesn't at all. And in fact, if you have larger donations or more many things to donate at the same time, we can uh-huh. come and get those for free. Uh, we've actually got a donation hotline number for our pickup services, which uh, that number is 330 915 Five nine two zero, and that number connects you with our uh, scheduler, uh-huh. and she will help you get your items out of your house, and right. we'll get them down to restore. And then somebody can buy them and yep. use them. Or exactly. do you ever? Are you ever able to use things that you get donated into? Your it depends. Homes? You know, we actually do get a lot of brand new items, uh, right? and it's really surprising. I mean, new kinds of new outdoor furniture came mm-hmm. in this summer, brand new uh, bedding supply. I mean, all uh-huh. kinds of stuff. It's unbelievable. Uh, and sometimes we do get brand new building materials. Now, uh, we have to judge each of those as they come in because exactly. habitat houses are specific. You know, we have a lot of models that families can choose from right. because, as you know, they build and purchase their own home. So exactly. it's not a home that's given away. So they get to make the choices right. about what their house right. Looks like the siding color, you Mm -hmm. know, all kinds of things. So uh, if the building supplies that come in are new or in incredibly good condition, uh, then, yeah, if it fits the Habitat house model that we're building, we can certainly uh, take a look at that. So I um, actually was talking to a couple of folks about you being on the show with us this week. And they said, oh... Habitat houses, those free houses. <laughs> and when you just said that, that reminded yep. me what they said. And I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of misconception. There is, yeah. That they think that um, Habitat builds these houses and just gives them to these people right. that doesn't really work for them. It, 
Yeah, that's what? not how it goes at all. Let's exactly. talk about Let's that. Exactly. Let's talk about that. <laughs> because because I, I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, that's not the way it goes. And they're like, calm down, Cindy. Well, thank you for speaking up, first of all. That's incredible. <laughs> and second of all, here's how it goes. So a family partners with Habitat. They invest what we call sweat equity. And they in each family invests hundreds of hours of sweat equity. And what do you mean by sweat equity? Yeah, that includes financial literacy courses. It includes building their home and the homes of other families who are in the partnership. It involves personal development courses. It involves homeowner maintenance education education classes. Mm -hmm. Uh, A lot of the families who partner with us are coming from situations where they've been renting uh, or are are in public housing. Mm -hmm. And so there's always someone to call if something goes wrong. Now, when you own a home, as you know, you got to do it yourself or, you know, to save money, you do it yourself yourself. or you have to pay somebody. Right. Uh, And so you um, it's important that they get that training so that they can be successful. They can be set up for success. They know how to fix the toilet. Exactly. And we always get questions from the public. I want to take that course. I mean, I want to I do Mm -hmm. personally as well. So they do all those things. And that's what we call sweat equity. Uh, And then at the end of that partnership, their home's been built. They've completed all those hundreds of hours of sweat equity. They then purchase their home with a zero interest mortgage. Uh, and so it's it's their home. They've right. bought it. They've worked for it. In a lot of ways, they've worked harder than most people who will just go out and just buy a home. They've seen it from the foundation to right. the top of the roof. They've uh, you know cried over it. They've bled mm-hmm. over it. They've worked hard. They've sweated. Some of them, most of them work uh, you know, two jobs, taking care of their families as well. It's just an incredible investment. And, and I'm not trying to overstate it, uh, but I do want to communicate the importance of what these families right. go through and how hard it is. In fact, if somebody's interested in seeing a video of one of these hardworking families, uh-huh. we post Posted one on our Facebook page on Labor Day, oh, great. and it depicts a, 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 ho- a future homeowner named Alyssa who works two jobs, takes care of two kids by herself, and then in every spare moment she's building with Habitat. She's doing her sweat equity, uh, and that's at Facebook.com/slash/Habitat for Humanity ECO. Uh, and it's an incredible story, but it's mm-hmm. not a unique story uh, insofar as Habitat families are concerned. Right. They're all working hard. They all purchase their homes. And thanks for speaking up. That's uh-huh. huge. Yeah, it was amazing because. I, I've heard that in the past, and mm-hmm. you know, probably 15 years ago, I would be like, is, is that the way it works? I'm right. not really yeah. sure, you know? Right. But over the time that I have, you know, had a relationship with you all, yeah. I'm like, that is not how this is. No. And, you know, the, that misconception is still out there some. It is, and we have a we have a phrase that we use at Habitat often, and that we're a ministry that is a hand up, not a hand out. Right. And I think that is the most important part. So if anyone can just remember that phrase, it might remind right. you from time to time right. that these houses aren't free. And also, um, we talked a little bit about this deconstruction. Yeah. And and so what is going on with deconstruction? I know. It's great. Habitat does so much more than build new homes. You right. know, we also renovate homes. We do demolitions to create green space uh, and to raise the right. community It's a pride. total ministry. It's a total ministry. Another thing that we do, like you said, is called deconstruction. So we actually have uh, a deconstruction team who will go out to properties that are scheduled to be demolished uh, or remodeled. And we'll go in, we'll take everything that we're permitted to take um, from the owner of the property. But anything that's recyclable, anything that's reusable, anything that's upcyclable, uh, we'll take all of those usable materials out. Uh We'll keep them from going to a landfill. We'll bring them back to restore. Anything that's sellable or usable, we'll put in restore. Maybe we'll even fix it up and then put it into restore. Right. a lot of building materials come into our Habitat Restore locations like this, uh, wood and siding. I mean, just anything that, that we can salvage from uh-huh. these properties we do. Any scrap metal that we can grab from the houses as well, you know, we can scrap that. And then all of those proceeds just go straight back into building homes, which is the whole purpose of Habitat of for everything. Humanity Restore anyway. Right. So it's a beautiful program, and it's actually been kicking off really well uh, here in recent times. People love deconstruction. Right. And you have a couple other projects going on. We do. There, there's a big one, and, and anyone who's listening may have seen a, a recent article in the Canton Repository about our interfaith build. And it's, this okay. is something we're very proud of, because in this day and age, in this world, in this political climate, it's important to remember that human beings are worth human being time and investment. And right. uh, it's important to care about each other. And so this interfaith build is a great example in in my mind of people coming together, setting aside differences. Uh, we've got Jewish folks there. We've got, um, well, I, you know, we've got all kinds. We've got, we've got three different faith organizations who are working together to help Renita Jenkins build a home with her, with her children so that she can mm-hmm. have a decent, affordable home. She can do things like afford uh, better food for her family, more, more opportunities for further education uh, 
and even better health care. You know, as right. she's able to save money on her mortgage, she's able to put more money to the things that make a family or healthier and stronger. Right. And so these organizations, these faith-based organizations that are coming together for this year's Interfaith Build are just a tremendous example right. uh, of what I hope we can continue to do just as a human race, you know, love each other, care about each other. Right. At Habitat for Humanity, a Christian ministry, we do it because of the love of God. Right. Um, and so because it, he tells us to. Right, exactly. And But but that's a principle that kind of is universal with a lot of religious um, uh, religions. Right. You know, you've got that care for other people and exactly. that investment in making the world a better place and your community a better place and investing in other people's lives. And right. so that's what we're touching on with this interfaith build. Uh, and that interfaith build is just a part of a bigger investment in the northeast side of Canton that we're calling the Renewal Project. And this uh-huh. is a big project. Uh, it's a th- four-year, three-and-a-half million dollar investment in the northeast side of Canton in one neighborhood where we're going to hope to revitalize the entire neighborhood, strengthen the neighborhood, improve property values, help uh, aging residents who are aging in place, um, uh, help to revitalize an aging housing stock, even create things like pocket parks. So we use all the things that Habitat for Humanity does, new construction, rehab, demo, um, deconstruction, critical home repair, minor home repair. We're putting it all into practice for the first time ever in one location over the next four years. And it's uh, it's a huge investment. And it really is starting with that interfaith build. And as a Christian organization that our mission is to bring people together to show God's love, to build homes, communities, and hope, uh, we think that's a great way to kick off something as big and exciting as the Renewal Project. It's wonderful. That's a lot. Sorry. That's, that's a like a fire that's, hose that's great. I'm like, oh Habitat gosh, no, for Humanity. My mind is going like, oh my gosh, I have a question about this. And then you went on. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a question about I know. There's too. so much. Yeah. There's so much. So, okay. Um, that's great. This It's in the northeast section of Canada. Yeah. Um, so let's say that... Um, Someone lives in the southwest section of Canton Mm -hmm. or in Alliance or in Maslin, all here in Stark County, and they're like, I know of an older person that's in need. Yeah. How how do they do that? How how do they get a hold of you? How can they do that? How can they say, you know what, we know this person financially, I can't do it myself, Mm -hmm. um, but we know that they need help. Yeah. It's important if you know of someone who needs assistance uh, that Habitat can provide, whether that's uh, an older person, uh, a person who's got a a family and they're struggling to make ends meet. Um, We work with low to moderate income earners. Mm -hmm. And so folks who have an ability to pay, uh, again, the houses aren't free. Right, exactly. Um, You know, somebody who's willing to partner with Habitat for for Humanity to do that sweat equity investment. And then someone who currently lives in substandard housing. Those are the three qualifications. And even in the North East side of Canton, that renewal project, those are the qualifications as well. And so um, anyone who knows anyone who's in that situation, or maybe someone listening is in that situation, the best thing to do is to call our team at 330-915-5888. And you can talk uh, with our team about how to apply to the Habitat for Humanity program. And our family partnership team, our neighborhood investment team, they all work with the folks who are interested in partnering with us. We've had hundreds of applications this year, but it should not stop anyone from getting in touch with us. It's an important ministry. It's one that's very needed around here. Uh, and uh, it's a ministry that is seeing tremendous fruit year after year after year right. because, uh, you know, people at Habitat, the team, the volunteers, we treat it like a ministry. And we see that there's a heart behind every story of every family that comes through the doors of Habitat. Right. And so your group works basically with Stark County. We actually work in all of East Central Ohio, so that includes Stark, Carroll, Tusk, Harrison, and Jefferson counties, all five. Okay. Um, Alliance actually has a Habitat for Humanity ministry of itself, um, oh. so Alliance is kind of not included not in that, included but in the five counties there, Stark, Carroll, Tusk, Harrison, and Jefferson counties. Yeah. And But are we the only one with a restore? Uh, Akron has a restore. Akron. There are restores all over mm-hmm. the country. It's a, but like it's a big in thing. in Carroll County, we don't have a restore. Correct. Harrison yep. County. Stark County is the only one that we have the, two restore locations. Restore. You know, I'm not going to say that that's going to be forever. Uh, you right. know, we have dreams of, of expansion. So as people continue to love restore and, and the mission of Habitat for Humanity and they donate and they shop at restore, then uh-huh. we can just continue to improve the ministry to send more proceeds toward home building and then maybe think about expanding so that we can do even more right. uh, to help the families uh, who are working here locally, working really hard, earning money, mm-hmm. um, and building their homes with blood, sweat, tears, and a lot of drive and passion. Right, exactly. Yep. Uh, that's It's a wonderful, wonderful ministry. And you guys have a, a lot of connections. Yeah. So if someone, um, you know, has questions, it might not all be something that Habitat can help with, but you have the connections to get them in touch with 
the other sure, people that yeah, they're probably yeah, yeah. need and to. Yeah, it's no problem if we get questions that we don't specifically ham- handle. Mm-hmm. Right. We, yeah, like you say, we can we can help people get to where they need to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, our number is 330-915-5888, and we'd love to talk with anybody All who's right. interested. And if you have um, items that you would like to donate, mm-hmm. You can take them to either of the stores um, on Cleveland Avenue or Raff Row. But if it's something that you can't handle and, Kevin, they need them to come pick it up. Yep, the donation hotline is 330-915-5920. Right. And um, what a wonderful um, organization that, you know, Habitat is. Thank you. I think so, too. (laughs) And and I remember Habitat as Jimmy Carter. Yeah, he's a tremendous Habitat volunteer and advocate. Absolutely. You know, and I remember him, well, because I was here when he was president. Right, right. (laughs) (laughs) But um, after his presidency, I remember him doing so much. Yeah, and he still does. Yeah. He still does. And um, just thinking that, you know, oh, my gosh, a president is so involved in something. Mm -hmm. It has to be really legit. Yeah. He had a great quote that I I ran across recently now that you mentioned him. Uh Uh, And again, he's been a tremendous advocate for Habitat for Humanity. And he gets it like at the root core of what Habitat is. But he said Habitat is not some person up here and I'm holding my hand up high. Right helping some person down here and I'm holding my hand down low now. Exactly. It's a partnership. It's it's a person's reaching out a hand saying, right. let's do this together. Right. And that's the most beautiful thing about Habitat. Again, right. a hand up, not a hand out. It's a partnership from beginning to right. end. And I love that. Right. And I know that um, a lot of folks have issues with certain nonprofit organizations where there's a CEO mm-hmm. that's making, you know, this right. huge six, seven figure right. salary. And um, Habitat doesn't have that. No, actually, we have a whole page on our uh, website, which is HabitatECO.org, which talks about our fiscal responsibility. And you can, anyone can see that we, we use about 9% of our income, that's donations and, and et cetera, mm-hmm. for overhead. And I think that's a tremendous that um, uh, responsibility. Right. I think that we treat it that way. Right. Uh, and we work very hard to run a very tight ship so that we can do as much home building as possible because right. that's why we exist. Uh, and so 9% is, I, you know, I've worked for nonprofits in my past as well, and right. 9% is hard to get to, oh but, my gosh. but we're there. It, and, it I, and I think that that's a huge... Uh, credit to our leadership, uh, right. but also it's a it's a huge credit to um, the people who are interested in financially donating to Habitat. And I, I think it's an encouragement to them because right. they can see that we'll be responsible with those dollars. And also, it I, I think that it really shows um, a godly thing. Yeah, we because, treat it that way. Yeah, you know, absolutely. it is. It's a ministry. It's not that you're just going out there to help folks. Mm-hmm. It's a ministry. Yeah. Not only are you helping them financially because mm-hmm. it is uh, it's going to be financially helpful to them yeah. but it's also you're teaching them Christ's love which is the ultimate and when you're being so responsible with the funds yeah. um it's just another way of showing you know showing God there mm-hmm. and that is um one of the best things and I've always really it's huge. Yeah, that's just yeah. so huge. And and so you can all really know that when you give money, you can give money to Habitat. Yeah, you, certainly. And you can give anything. You know that it's not like it's going to be turned in um, to cash so that Kevin can go home <laughs> making $300,000 nope. a year. That's <laughs> no, not ma'am. happening, folks. Nope. So. Um, <laughs> so that money that you that you donate is is used to, to really help That's um, huge. these folks and out. And volunteerism is just as important. Right. So volunteers, donors, financially, uh, restore donors, restore shoppers, those are our needs. Uh, and, and again, if anyone knows out, out there of someone who is in need of decent, affordable housing, they should get in touch with right. us. Yep. And and it's so much fun to shop there because it, is. You it never changes. Know. Yeah. Every single day. I knew where you were going with that because I mean, we have a shop. We have a saying at, at the stores: if you miss a day, you miss a deal. Uh, because it happens every single day. Items come in the same day they're in, they're out. They're and gone. They're, it's right. just amazing. And again, brand new items. Right. New and gently used items are mm-hmm. are, are bread and butter. So right. And, I had friends. They got headboards. Yep. For you know. For their beds, brand new in the box. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. They're like, we got them for a hundred dollars. I can't believe it. And <laughs> then crazy. they went on a sale day, got another yep. one for fifty bucks, which and is like, today, by the way, thirty oh, percent off. You remember? That's right, thirty yep. percent off today. So mm-hmm. you need to make sure that you get to a restore today. <laughs> right? They open at ten. Yep. They're open till four. Correct. So get um, to one of the stores today, and you are going to get some wonderful, wonderful deals. Mm-hmm. So Kevin, thank you so much My for pleasure. being thank here. You it's very just, much. it's wonderful. It's always 
so enlightening <laughs> um, to have you here on the show with us. Thanks. And we want to thank all of you for um, getting up early and listening. Um, remember, I'm going to be down at the Canton Farmers Market today, so bring down your questions. I want to make sure that I get all of your questions answered. If you have fall um, planting questions, fall fertilization questions, we want to make sure that we get all of those answered um, organically, of course. Um, we have some great ideas on how you can fertilize your lawns organically this fall and get them actually prepped so that you have a beautiful lawn next spring. Remember, we have some great sales going on right now. Um, the fertilizers on sale, um, all the trees and shrubs, um, fruit trees um, also, raspberry bushes, just so much um, going on right now. And remember, um, we also carry Hartzler Dairy products, um, um, organic organically raised, non-GMO um, beef, goat, pork, uh, lamb, and chicken. We also sell our eggs, duck eggs, and chicken eggs. So please stop out this week at the store at 5828 Columbus Road in Nimishillen Township, right on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway. We want to thank all of you for getting up early and being with us each and every Saturday morning right here on 95.9 The Light. You all have a blessed week.